Welcome to Precision Weigh In Balances. In this demonstration, we're going to be reviewing the new Sartorius Entrance Series. This new Lab Balance Series is now available as of March 2014. The entrance is basically Sartorius returning to the marketplace since they discontinued the ED and GW series in 2012. The new entrance series functions exactly as the ED and GW series in regards to your keys in the front here, your tactical keypads. It has the LCD display. The new entrance series uh, is ROM compliant, which means that they uh, restrict the level of certain hazardous substances such as lead, cadmium, mercury, and other chemicals. Basically, on the printed circuit boards, uh, if most of the solder had high lead content. Now the new series has very low lead content. Um, Sartorius did this basically because many countries require Rome compliant. They also changed the overlay on the ED series and GW. This was white. You'll notice it is now black. And on the right hand side of the balance to follow the theme of Sartorius's new series of balances um, they have on the side of the balance, they have entrance. So the, the balance is marked for the series. If you bought a Practum series, you would see Practum. Uh, the balance, and this particular balance goes to a hundredth of a gram, and it has a 7.1 by 7.1 stainless steel platform that's removable for easy cleaning. Uh, the balance on the rear, you'll see we have an AC power adapter, so we'll remove that for a minute. And you also have a serial 25 pin on the back of the balance. So this serial 25 would be used if you wanted to connect this to a Sartorius printer, which is optional, or if you wanted to send data to a computer. You'd have to have the software. Um, we do sell WinWedge. We recommend uh, the Win. Yeah, we recommend Tal's uh, WinWedge software. You'd have to buy the cable. So this is Satorius's standard cable RS232, and you'll notice it's a 25 pin. This connects to the balance. The nine would go to your computer. Since most computers no longer come with a 9-pin serial interface, they're all USB, we do sell a setup where you go from the, RS2, from the RS-232 DB9, you would daisy chain it together, plug this in, and now you have USB. You do have to load a driver for it. So the RS-232 cable itself is not a standard cable. You can look in the user's manual. If you think you can make your own cable, in all honesty, it's not worth it. Just buy the cable. So this is Sartorius's uh, serial cable that you would need if you were going to try to send data to a PC. If you are going to go with Sartorius's optional printer, which is right here, this is the YDP, the YDP20 OCE. Um, this, when you buy the printer, comes with the cable that would go from the balance to your printer. So that cable comes when you buy it, comes with the printer. Uh, going over a few of the other features with this balance, you'll notice that um, it has a little hook here, security hook. This is for if you wanted to put a cable through the back of the balance to secure the balance. A lot of uh, universities will lock down their balance. On the bottom, you'll see there's four adjustable feet on this particular model. And I opened up uh, the bottom of the balance here, there's a port. And this port is for an underhook. And I know you're not going to be able to see it, but your monolithic cell, the way cell, is right here on the bottom. And there is a little spot where you could put a, a, um, a wire or a thread to hang beneath the balance for doing specific gravity. Or you can buy the optional underhook. This particular underhook is the wrong size. It goes to another Sartorius balance, but it would be similar to this. This, I believe, is a um, six millimeter thread, and what you need here is a three millimeter. 
but this would just screw right in and so you'd have your balance and you could weigh beneath. You would weigh uh, for doing uh, specific gravity or if you were weighing magnetic material or if you were weighing something very hot you would hang it beneath the balance and that's where an underhook comes in handy so again this hook is optional um, you can on the balance uh, hang a wire uh, if you want to do specific gravity also so again you have four adjustable feet and uh, if that's if the underhook is not being used there's this little door here, which I'll put back on, and that's it. So, very nice basic balance. This is Sartorius' new um, entry series for the lab market. And again, I'll just plug in the AC adapter. This only runs off an AC adapter. And put back the platform. Turn on the balance, and so to turn on the balance, the uh, functionality of this balance, the buttons, all the way to the left here, we have the on-off button. So you'll notice when the balance powers up, it does a power-up sequence, and then it goes exactly to the way mode. We have a cal key as our next function. If one simply presses the cal button, you'll see it says 5,000 grams for this particular balance. So the calibration weights are optional. And so I will just do a calibration to show you how simple it is. So I have a three kilogram and a two kilogram. Simply put it on the balance. The balance is storing the value, says cal n, and the calibration is now complete. You can see how simple it is. All digital calibration. Now you can see how fast the response time is of the balance. Some other uh, keys on how to operate the balance. It's extremely intuitive. Uh, you have the select menu. So if I was to press and hold down this, you'll see we go into applications. And once we're in applications, you can hit enter and you'll see we're in way. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner there's a circle right here and that means that the balance is set for way. These uh, entrance series all come in the way uh, application which means it's only set up for grams. If you want to weigh in multiple way units all you have to do is press the down arrow you'll see units. What unit allows you to do is toggle between four different weigh units plus your primary. So your primary is grams and you can even change the primary to a different weigh unit if you'd like. So you're able to really toggle between five different weigh units. So whether that is grams, penny weight, troy ounces, grains, teal, um, there's about 13 units or so there this uh, balance can weigh in. So basically any weigh unit you can think of it does. If we press the uh, menu select to go down again, you'll see there's the cone application. In the cone application, you can configure the balance for a reference sample of one to 100 if you wanted to use this for parts count of small parts. The next application is percent. Percent allows you to obtain the weight reading in percent in proportion to a reference weight. This is typically used for like formulation. A lot of ink mixes are using a Pantone color chart and uh, they typically mix like one pound of ink at a time so they would have a one pound weight. Set that on the balance in percent mode. It would set that to 100%, take the weight off and then they're able to do their formulation. We also have animal weigh mode. If uh, the laboratory you weigh in small animals, whether that be a, a mouse or whether that be some kind of insect. Uh, as they move around the platform, if you didn't have the way mode function, sometimes you can get uh, uh, readings that uh, fluctuate. And so what the animal way mode does is it takes the average weight. And then we have density. If you wanted to do density determination using that underhook. And then we have back to the standard way mode. So those are the functions or applications that the balance offers.
Um, so to get out of the application mode, you just simply press the CF button, which is the clear button, clear function, hit clear function a second time, and we're back to weigh units. So again, um, I just put some weights on this balance so that you get some idea of the performance of the balance and how quick the balance is. So we'll just go to all four corners. And this is what we call eccentric loading. We made a short video showing the eccentric loading. You might want to watch that if you go to YouTube. There's another video on the entrance series. But again, it's a very quick balance. You'll notice here in the upper left-hand corner, we have a sprint bubble. Uh, this is so that you can level your balance. The balance should always be level. We have tear buttons both right and left for your convenience. So if I simply press the tear, it zeroes everything out on the platform. And again, you'll see how fast the balance is. And very stable. There's a lot of balances on the marketplace, no-name brands, and the quality. Um, you know, if price is everything, you know, when you buy it, put some test weights in all four corners and see if you get repeatable results. So, and see how fast the balance is. Sartorius holds the Guinness Book of World's record for the most accurate balance in the world. Uh, this particular entrance is using Sartorius's um, monolithic cell. It's a single block of aluminum. Superior, superior weighing technology. So again, uh, this is the new entrance series. It's available if you visit our website at either balances.com or scaleman.com. We are an authorized Sartorius dealer. If you have any questions, give us a call.